Hi, this is Jim Starkweather, the publisher of Kitmaker Network and Armorama.com, and welcome to another Turning the Page. Today we have for you from Ammo by MIG, this is Panzer DNA, German Military Vehicles of World War II, Camouflage Markings Organization, by Daniel Gugolami and Mario Pieri. Sorry. <laughs> well, so this is a hardcover book, kind of interesting, uh, in that it's hardcover. Uh, they put the spline kind of opposite, you know, like normally you'd have the book like this on your thing, and they did, did it that way, so it's a bit weird. Um, this book is uh, not huge. I mean, it's only 138 pages, 139, 140 pages. Um, it, uh, it's going to be in color, correct? Yes, in color. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the contents section. Published in Spain. Index. All right, so we've got uh, Introduction, Linguistic Notes, Chapter 1, uh, which is the Blankenkruz, Chapter 2, Composition of Military Units, Chapter 3, Markings, Chapter 4, Colors and Camouflages, Chapter 5, Zimmerit, Chapter 6, Ranks and Honors, Chapter 7, Signaling, Appendix A, Pieces of Material, Appendix B, Abbreviations and German Military Terms, and then a Bibliography. So, um, they're going over the Panzer Colors series here. Uh, I guess they're sh just showing kind of like, you know, what people used to get a lot of information from way back when. And, um, photos, obviously, linguistic notes, very artistically laid out as with a lot of the, um, Spanish uh, publishers, um, MIG, AK, um, Vallejo, they, they definitely spend a lot of time on layout and stuff, which I, I normally like. This is, text is kind of small. I'm, still, I'm not having a trouble reading it myself, and I usually do have to wear reading glasses if text is too small, but it's, it's kind of on the small-ish side. Uh, but then, you know, they stylistically left a lot of white space here intentionally. Uh, this is chapter one, which um, goes over these uh, kind of sections by page number. And uh, the Blankenkreuz, Bean Cross or Cross. Okay, that's the the German cross. I never actually knew what that was. It was called that. Uh, it's, 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 I guess is a takeoff on the Balkan Cross. Oh, it's a Balkan Cruise. Sorry, I was going to say Blankenkreuz, like there was an L there, but no, it's a, the Balkan Cruise. Um. So interesting. I already learned something in the first paragraph. So that's always a good sign when you're when you're teaching don't you know old dogs like me a, a new trick. That's that's always a good thing. All right, so basically a lot of information about specific uh, pieces of detail, though, that, you know, kind of their origins, history, and so forth is what you're going to find in this book, uh, at least from what I'm seeing. Um, and, but a lot of, obviously, photos, uh, I'm not sure how many of these are essentially um, new and original. Um, I would imagine a lot of them are. So there's an SU-85 captured here, as well as a Matilda uh, two. And uh, again, just uh, you know, a lot of photos uh, with captions. Uh, and then they've got chapter two here, which uh, goes into composition of military units. Beaming noises, sorry about that. Uh, chapter three, markings. Sounds like my neighbor's trying to move something really large and heavy into their office. Uh, <laughs> So we're moving on here uh, with, uh, again, more photos, more captions. Just to give an example, the captions are really small. Let me grab my glasses for a second. It says, uh, a tracked demolition vehicle BIV, OS B, photographed on 20 April 1944 inside the Allied beachhead of An at Anzio and Natuno. The tactical marking visible on the back of, the, of a Funklenk uh, radio control company. The vehicle shows a light three-color camouflage pattern. It does not carry any license plate nor national crosses, but it has a loading label made with use of stencils, U.S. NARA. So, um, yeah, so a lot of specific detail there in terms of uh, captions and historical notation. Um, a lot of the color photos are obviously period, which is nice. Um, and, uh, again, just getting into a lot of detail like the uh, the earlier ones we noted. Um, this one, for example, has different versions of Zimmerit in terms of patterns. 
uh, goes over what each one uh, was designated as or how it's designated now by historians. Um, again, some photos there, uh, interesting shots. And I wonder if that's um, the captured tiger from Africa, so the famous one at Bovington, because uh, obviously that was a British, British, British soldier, right? I believe so. No, not 100% sure. There. All right, so, and again, uh, signaling uh, flags and various other things. So, so you get a lot of detail here, a lot of um, very precise and specific information. I can see why they decided to call it Panzer DNA. All right, well, thanks to our friends at MIG for sending us this uh, preview copy. And uh, if you have any comments, suggestions, questions, please leave them below in the comments section. And you can leave a thumbs up or a like if you so uh, enjoyed this product or review. Um, well, we'll call it a review, but a preview, a flip through, won't even want to call these. <laughs> They're turning the page. Uh, and we will see you next time on Turning the Page. Thank you.